explain what that means. Explain that to folks that don't understand. What, what, what do you, what, why does it make it difficult for a defense to pick up? Well, if you can't, if you can't get a defense a blitz aligned, if you can't bring you know whatever the blitz to that specific side itself, that makes it very difficult. So again, when you're playing, you know, balls. The referee puts the ball, gets out of the way, starts the clock, and we're snapping the ball. Defenses can't you know, tilt their coverage, and then depending on what our formation is itself also, it gives the defense a very difficult time to be able to adjust to the formation itself, adjust to what their blitzes are and who's going to be coming, and then really be able to pick out that guy as well. So that really that brings a uh, very uh, unique advantage on our behalf going against defenses. Who's yeah. been working most with you at that right guard spot this week or the first two days? Uh, right now, just Demetrius Knox um, and Matt Barone. Kind of right now, they're splitting the list and the one reps. Yeah. Again, I'm very comfortable with the other one who goes in there. Uh, they're preparing, again, if it were to be them, and if the other person is, you know, just making sure that they're prepared, they're aware of what, what goes on, the looks, what we're going against, and then who, the, who we're playing against as well. So, because every 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 rusher has a unique set of skills itself, and be prepared for all of them. Billy, what's on. cool about playing at a pro, as a away game at a program with such tradition mm-hmm. and full house and you know, things that they do, things yeah, that the yeah, I think, crowd does. I think, and I can speak on behalf of the Big Ten itself, that's every away game that we go to. I mean, you're talking, again, having an opportunity to go play the Big House every other year, an opportunity to go play, you know, Michigan State Stadium every year. I think that there's a lot, even last year, you look at Wisconsin. You know, again, very a lot of traditions, a lot, very tradition rich. Fans are very prideful. And it's a great opportunity for us to go in a big time atmosphere and kind of really be able to showcase our skills and all the hard work that we put into it. So again, going to a place like Nebraska, I've never played in Nebraska uh, over, the, over the past five years that I've been here. Um, you know, again, looking for a unique challenge. Again, those fans are supposed to be great. The stadium atmosphere uh, is top notch again. So we're looking for a good challenge, and having a good, fun experience. Do you like away games? I do. I think it presents a, a unique challenge, uh, and because of the fact that the locker room is all you have. You don't have your fans. You don't have the comfort of your hotel, the comfort of you know your familiar area and your town, et cetera, et cetera. You know your mom and dad coming down, just you know, depending on how far you are. Um, so I like it because that's a unique challenge, especially you get an opportunity to go against. You know when we look at last year itself, going to you know Michigan State, going to Wisconsin, going to um, uh, I think else, who else would play Big Ten? Uh, but you get the point. Maryland, yeah, some of those other teams. But you get to go to places like that, and it's. Whoever you bring on that bus, whoever you bring on that plane, that's all you have. And that's, that's what brings a unique challenge again. It, it, it brings that team out to behind it. So I, I really enjoy it. Did, did, did you do homework? Did you look up in Nebraska Stadium and you know, do a little homework on what it's all about and stuff, the tradition involved? I mean, you know, it was, it was designed in some respect after Ohio Stadium. It was like a mini version. Like, uh, as far you keep as up with stuff like that? Not as far as like the stadium tradition behind it. I mean, like every. Every every team in the Big Ten has their tradition and stuff, you know, like Wisconsin can jump around, um, uh, hang on Sloopy in Ohio State, and, and each stadium has their own type thing. So I th- for that aspect, yeah. But as far as you know, the engineering design behind the stadium, not so much. Yeah, you know, just research research right stuff. Yeah, yeah, make sure it's all uniform. Let's just go fix some more. Do you happen to know what happened last time Ohio State went to Nebraska? Then we lose. I thought we lost. Well, let's start to wrap it up, folks. Yes, we got us. Big. Got us. Big. Braxton got hurt, and then y'all got big. Who's that? Crazy 2011 season. Yeah, so I was I was a young, immature, whatever grader I was at the time. So. Yeah, you were at the roller rink that night or something, yeah. hanging out. Yeah, awesome time. I was a roller rink, yeah. So. Hey, Billy, yeah, Coach Meyer uh, talked about it again today. I mean, he thinks there ought to be a limit on two night games, night games right. on the road in the Big Ten. Mm-hmm. What's your What's your feel about that? I mean, uh, you know, you're one of those guys that has to recover. Yeah, and I think that kind of brings a unique challenge in being a player's perspective. Uh, so it's from what I from what I did do the research on the stadium. It's a two-hour plan. To Lincoln area itself. So if we get done, then it's an hour time difference itself. So the game's at 7 30, game will be over roughly 11 30 by the time we leave the stadium, 12 31 o'clock, get to the airport, another two hours. By the time I get back in Columbus, it'll be four. By the time you're done through all that stuff, and by the time I get back to Woody, it's roughly about five. And I don't get back to my apartment until about 5 15, 5 30. So that's ridiculously insane and very difficult, but that again, that comes with being a student athlete itself. So it, it's a trade off. Um, but again, it is very tough on the body. But again, we came back into after we played uh, Rutgers. Rutgers, yeah, and came back in and got back 4:30. I mean, I was up at 9:30 the next day, a couple hours of sleep, get back in, and let's roll the system. But do you top. feel a little jet laggy for a while or something? Uh, Obviously, y'all have next week off. Yeah, and I think it also depends on how many plays you play itself. And the yeah. Rutgers game, I was, I was fortunate enough to play. I think it was like under under 60 snaps itself. And so, as an offensive lineman, I've played a lot more. I played a lot less. So, uh, presents itself again. You got to take care of your body. You got to get yourself in good habits. And then uh, I do think, you know, two night games, because again, next thing you know, people like last year, Wisconsin was in that game, Penn State was in that game. Um, and we went back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a prime time. We love the opportunity. You can't be, you know, disappointed in having a prime time game. 
in front of you know X amount of people across the stadium, and especially on the TV contracts. Yeah. But it is tough on the body. So. Hey, Tom, what was it you said Saturday? It was like, do you think that there's been a change in the offense? Mm-hmm. What have you seen that makes you say that? I think really, I don't know, I was mentioning it too. I'm in here. Um, really, just put the ball down and go play. You know, quit thinking so much because the minute you start thinking, you start playing slow, and that's when defenses have the upper hand and the advantage to it. So being able to just put the ball down and, and in certain plays, we're taking care of these five, in certain plays, taking care of these five, and just roar off the ball. And so that's what we're kind of, well, that's what, how we're attacking it, just playing fast, not thinking a lot, and just having fun. What is it that enabled you guys to play the right there? Uh, I think it was an offensive thing with Chris Wilson. Chris Wilson, Chris Studd, Chris Day, Chris Smith, Chris Meyer, the whole offensive stuff, Coach Alfred, so included. Um, just put the ball down and let's play. And I think that's when we play the fastest, that's when we're the best on our feet, and you know, we see good things. Cool. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, Appreciate it, man.